This is Isaiah Stovall, SSRC interview with Fisherman Mark Fair. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? My name is Mark Fair. I'm a Native American from Lummi Nation in Washington State. Uh, I've been a fisherman most of my life. I went to uh, Bellingham High School. After that, I went to an art school in Santa Fe, New Mexico, called Institute of American Indian Arts. But mostly, I, uh, I've been a fisherman for the last 50 years. I see that your house has some interesting carvings on your wall. Can you tell me a little bit about your carvings? Well, I'm kind of a multi-artist. I uh, do jewelry. I do some carving. And I do some painting. I have three masks on my wall right now. One of them is a raven. It tells the story of the raven. Another one is a wild woman of the woods that I just decided I wanted to do. And the third one is um, wild man of the woods, Sasquatch. And I did that one after I saw a Sasquatch run in front of my car several years ago. And the amazing thing about it was that the hair on it was at least four feet long and it was probably 10 feet tall. I've seen Sasquatch seven times in my life from about 17 until now. The last time I saw one, I was 64 and 66 now. Where have you seen them? There are several different places. I saw one behind Lake Watcom in past Bellingham. I saw one between Marietta and uh, Bellingham run across and jump over a 30 foot cliff. I came around a corner and saw five small ones on the road that were about three and a half to four feet tall. They looked like they were four feet wide, but when they ran off the road, they they all squeezed between a barbed wire fence, so they're probably pretty skinny under all that long hair. I saw one on Keggy Road one time from about a quarter of a mile away, walk across. And uh, that's all I can think of right now. How old did you say you were with your first encounter? I was probably 17 maybe. And I was uh, driving on Keggy Road and uh, it walked across. I had uh, my youngest brother, Tony, and uh, my nephew, Ron, on with me. They didn't see it, but I saw it. That was my first time and it was just a glimpse of it crossing the road. Can you tell me a little bit more about it? I was really excited because I knew what I saw. And I tried to stop and look for where it went into the woods, but I couldn't see where it went in, even though there was six foot nettles, stinger nettles all, all along the road, I still couldn't see a trail. So that uh, made me wonder what the heck it did. But later on, a couple of days later, I realized it could have jumped and I looked again and then I saw that it jumped about 25 feet off the road and then made a trail but I didn't go through the nettles to try and follow it. Wow. What were your feelings at that time? That time I was just um, excited. Um, it happened so fast, it was just a few seconds. But when I had thoughts of Sasquatch, it was uh, during the incident on April 17th of 2018 when I saw it for a good four or five minutes. Can you describe to me what it looked like? When I saw, saw it on April 17th, there were two of them, teenagers, 
playing on the side of the road. They were right standing right next to a bus stop sign, and I didn't pay much attention to them. I was looking for mushrooms at the time in the ditch while I walked along the road on Haxton Road on Lummi Reservation. And as I walked back toward my car, I kept glancing up at them. And as I got closer, I realized that they were all one color. There were no clotheslines, no belt buckles, just solid black. And I realized that it wasn't kids at all. It was two Sasquatches. And after, then I... I knew what was going on and I tried to keep walking through my car so I could get out of there. And I was scared once I realized what was going on there. And about that time, the smaller one ran up and hit the big one on the shoulder and ran back to the middle of the road. It was plain. I still thought it was kids then, but then after, after it did that twice, the big one turned and looked at me, and I could see the top of its head where it was at with the bus stop sign, so later I estimated it to be seven feet tall. <clears throat> but I was still trying to get to my car because I'm I'm old, I'm an elder, and I just wanted to try and get to my car and get out of there. And as as I was about 50 yards away from my car, the big one turned and looked at me, and it started slowly walking toward me upright like a human being. And I kept walking toward my car trying to get to it, and then after it walked about, it was pacing me, walking the same speed as I was walking, very slow. And when it got a little closer to me, it bent over and like it was going to pick something up, but it didn't. It just kept walking like that, bent over, looking at the ground. And I tried to pick up my speed to get to my car because it couldn't see me then. But then when it got about 10 yards from my car, it bent its right shoulder down and lifted its left shoulder up and it looked at me. And it kept walking very slowly, bent over. It looked very strange. And it was looking at me kind of mean that made me scareder and I noticed when it did that that its face was all covered with hair and all I could see was its eyes I couldn't see no nose I couldn't see a mouth I couldn't see a neck so I just kept trying to get to my car and it kept walking looking at me like that and when I got to the very front of my car, I could have reached out and touched it. It could have touched my trunk at the same time. And by then I was just super scared and I, I just froze. And I didn't know what to do, so I looked down. I thought, I thought it was all over for me. So I looked down for several seconds, I don't know how long. But nothing happened, so I looked up, and it was gone. The little one wasn't by the sign anymore. And I went to my car door and opened it. Then I decided I wanted to see if it was hiding behind my car, so I took a couple steps toward the middle of the road, and I couldn't see it. So then I tried to get brave, and I walked to the back of my car, and it wasn't there. I looked in the ditch, it wasn't there. It vanished without a sound. And I, to this day, I still don't know if it jumped into the woods, whether it ran down the road and went down 
The other side, I don't know what happened. All I know is it wasn't there anymore. Then I got in my car and called my brother and he came over and we looked around. We found tracks in the ditches that were very deep, three inches deep. I couldn't even leave a print when I walked in there. But every time I drive by that place now, I always see them. Every day I drive by and I see them there in my head. They'll be there forever. And I know they're I know they're real because it was only fifteen feet away from me. That's all I gotta say about that. Do you know anyone else who may have seen Sasquatch? There's been people see Sasquatches on Lummi Reservation every year, several times. There's lots of stories out there. I'm not going to give any names. I know a lot of people that have seen them. I know their names, but I can't give names out. But yes, they, they're they on the reservation every year. I don't know if they live on the res or whether they go through, but they're seen every year. Were some of those stories you've heard similar to your experiences? All the stories are different. Some people talk to them thinking they're, because it happens at night, they think it's someone walking by their house. Some people see them and just drive away. One thing's for certain that just about everybody's scared except for people that don't realize what they're looking at. So tell me, out of all your experiences, which one is your favorite? Well, it was uh, April 17th was my favorite, I guess. Maybe not, but it was definitely my scariest. And it was um, something to watch the smaller one play with the big one, and the big one didn't want nothing to do with playing back. It was just like humans. But uh, my favorite was probably when the one ran in between me and a car that had just gone by, and it was super fast. It happened in two seconds maybe, but it ran across and it had to jump over a hill that was 30, 35 feet down and it jumped off the side of the road like if it was nothing. <clears throat> had very long hair, four feet long, but with my headlights shining on it, I could see the profile of its face and the long hair was sticking out both sides, made its head look four feet wide, but it was all hair. But when it jumped off the side of the cliff and it was in midair, it turned and looked at me. And it did not have red eyes. It had eyes like ours, but much bigger. It had white around the black. And I'll remember that forever. But that that Sasquatch was tall. It was big. It was probably 900 pounds and 10 feet tall. That, I think, is my favorite encounter. So what advice would you give to someone who has never seen Sasquatch who might run into Sasquatch someday. If they see a Sasquatch and they're on foot and the Sasquatch gets close to you, I suggest looking down like you're giving up, you're surrendering, and maybe it will leave you alone. If you're in a car, I'd step on the gas and get out of there.
Hmm. So, Mr. Fair, after your experiences, do you still have a love or respect for Sasquatch? I don't have a love for them, but I have respect for them. And I think they just want to be left alone. I think if if you go looking for them, you might not be happy if you find one. That's just my own opinion. I think they should be left alone. Last question. Do you have any other comments you'd like to say about Sasquatch or your experiences, sir? I've run into a lot of people that don't believe in Sasquatch. And they never will unless they see one. I always believed in them even before I saw one. But no, I know for sure. Ever since I was 18 years old, I know they're out there. And be respectful. You might get away. After I saw that Sasquatch run in front of my car and I got a good look at it as it was jumping off from that cliff. All I could do was think about it, day after day after day. And I drew pictures of it. I drew pictures of all of them. But I wasn't satisfied with the pictures. I had to do a mask. So I did a mask of Sasquatch and that one was for him. The mask you see in the video is the one from the one that ran across me by Marietta Washington. It had very, very long hair and my mask is only about foot and a half long hair, but it kind of gives you an idea of what I saw. I think, I think you're blessed if you see one, but that's just my opinion. Well, that's all I have for tonight. Thank you so much for your time and sharing your experiences.